Hey, buenos dias, que paso amigos. Welcome back to John's Moto Garage. Today is a super exciting day. My wife, Jackie, is right on the fence, right on the edge of hitting a thousand subscribers on her channel, Jackie's Moto Garage. So be sure to go check out her channel if you haven't already, and if you wanna see the uh, motorcycle journey from a beginner's perspective. We had said that when she hits the 1K, that we would have her try out the Dyna. So if we can get her up to a thousand subscribers, then I think I'll be able to convince her to try taking the Dyna out for a spin. By that time, I should have the Dyna back. Shout out. But I realized after, after announcing that, there's one problem and that is the Dyna clutch. It's super, super stiff. Harleys have stiff clutches to begin with. I upgraded this to Barnett clutch with heavy duty spring and Kevlar plates. So it makes it even more challenging. <clears throat> and I apologize, I was skipping ropes. I'm a little bit out of breath. But as you can see, I did upgrade to an Elite Mototech clutch lever. So that makes it a little bit easier. However, for Jackie, very, very unsafe putting her on a bike like this with so much low end torque that if she were to lose control and accidentally dump the clutch, the bike would just kind of take off. Obviously, likely stall, but it'd be a lot of weight for her. And very challenging so I'm gonna see if I can loosen this up a little bit adjust the clutch to where she can at least handle it and if it is feasible then we will have Jackie try out the Dyna all right so let me adjust this oh I think this might actually be doable. Check it out, I got the clutch adjusted, so. It's a lot easier, it's a lot easier. The reason I don't have it adjusted like this for the, for the riding I do is because I need space. When I do the wheelie clutch ups, I only use one finger and I need space for my other fingers. Um, but like this, the way it's adjusted, Jackie can easily grab it with the entire hand and it's not too stiff anymore. So she might actually be able to pull this off. But you'll note, as soon as you hit the uh, sweet spot letting out the clutch the bike pulls forward pretty fast so she's gonna have to really be careful with not letting it out too fast you have to jump over to jackie's moto garage link below to see how it goes john the moto garage like and subscribe if you dig it we'll catch you on the next one